Hello, I'm Charles Armstrong, and tonight on the Seattle Untimely Round Forum, we'll be taking a look at the upcoming Seattle Mariners season. Joining us tonight are Seattle PI sports writer Mike DaCosta, Rabid Mariners blogger Dan Karen, and a computer. Now before we delve into 2008, let's take a look back at 2007, when the Mariners exceeded the expectations of many by going 88-74 and, and nearly making the playoffs. Dan, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Nearly making the playoffs? Right. By any reasonable measurement, they were barely a 500 ball club. Wait, reasonable measurement? Other than wins and losses? Right. So if you look at Pythagorean wins, or even just run differentials, it's obvious they only really earned about 76 wins. But they won 88 games. <laughs> right. Like the 2007 Mariners were really a 540 baseball team. But that was their winning percentage. <laughs> right, I know. Have you even looked at their strikeout to walk ratio? Mike, your thoughts on the 07 M's. If that team showed us anything, it's the importance of having players that can come through in the clutch. If not for some bad luck at the end of the season. <laughs> yes? Come through in the clutch? Right. And how do you measure clutch again? You know, clutch. Guys that come through in a tough situation. Like J.J. Putz. That guy's the definition of clutch. <laughs> right. He's the closer. The only time he's in the game is when he's in a clutch situation. Well, still he... Well, computer, your thoughts on the 07 season? Based on generalized rubrics, the 2007 Mariners seem to have somewhat overperformed. However... Much of that discrepancy can be attributed to significant success in late and close situations coupled with several blowout losses. That's what I said! No, it's not. Thank you, computer. The hot-button preseason move was obviously the Eric Bedard trade, which saw up-and-coming outfielder Adam Jones sent to Baltimore for Bedard. Mike, your thoughts? Oh, I think this is a move that will pay off in spades. The M's were poised to win last year, and by upgrading the pitching staff, this is a team to be reckoned with. Plus, Bedard brings so many intangibles that he's going to bring... What are these together. intangibles? You know, like leadership and, and heart. How are those measured? Well, like, I guess they're not measured. Dan, your thoughts on the trade? Right, I have to disagree. You know, Mike, if you actually took the time to run a few hundred simulated seasons, you'd know the Mariners won't win more than 80 games. Just a second. Simulated seasons? It's a little thing called computational processor intensive statistical analysis. Right, computer? Don't touch me, Dorkwad. Is this the same analysis that said the Mariners only won 78 games last year? 76. They should have only won 76 games, and yes. Well, your computer was wrong. <laughs> right. The computer was wrong. Look at the numbers! They shouldn't have won any of those extra games. Well then maybe we should play the whole season on a computer. At least then meatheads like you wouldn't chalk up wins to make believe intangibles! Alright, enough! Computer, your thoughts. Adding the dart undoubtedly makes the team better. Whether the M's paid too big a price in the long run by dealing Adam Jones remains to be seen. Remains to be seen? Oh right. If you look at the numbers, I'm you see Computer, I know what the numbers say, but unlike me, baseball players aren't controlled by numerical processes. See, that's what I'm talking about. Veteran leadership, clubhouse presence... Those things aren't real. The bottom line is, we don't know what will happen. That's why they play the game. In the meantime, we should be happy that we won't ever again have to watch Jeff Weaver. He is so, so suboptimal. You know, he did have a few great games last season. I do not care. He is the definition of suboptimal. Jeff Weaver is more suboptimal than a slide rule. The way he walks is suboptimal. Well, His that just about wraps things up. Uh, I'd like to thank my guests, Mike, Dan, and Computer. Uh, from all of us at Seattle Untimely, we'll see you at Safeco Field. Go ahead.